first on the issue of Syria. It is an awfully difficult one. We did draw a red line. It seems that they have crossed it. On the other hand, it doesn't seem like the country's got an appetite for, for another war in the Middle East. What do you make of it, and, and how would you handle it, or how would you advise if you were still uh, part of the administration? I think the president's statement, which you just played, was very circumspect, very circumspect, very prudent. We don't know what the chain of custody is. This could have been an Israeli false flag operation. It could have been an opposition in Syria, and one wonders what part of the opposition, false flag operation, or it could have been an actual use by Bashar al-Assad. But we certainly don't know with the evidence we've been given, and what I'm hearing from the intelligence community is that that evidence is uh, really flaky. So <laughs> there's hmm. no way I would say my red line had been crossed and start something serious in terms of U.S. intervention based on this very flimsy evidence. That's really interesting. You think there's at least some chance that it might have been an Israeli false flag operation? Why would they do that? What would be the motivation there? I think we've got uh, basically a geostrategically, geopolitical, if you will, inept regime in Tel Aviv right now. I think we saw really startling evidence of that in the fact that President Obama had to tell Bibi Netanyahu, pick up the phone, you idiot, and call Ankara and get yourself out of this strategic isolation you're in right now. Do a reconciliation with Turkey, the most powerful country in the region. Otherwise, Bibi probably would never have done it. Look at Israel's situation right now. It is as dangerous as it's been since 1948. You've got Lebanon growing increasingly unstable with Nasrallah and Hezbollah having more and more political power. You've got Syria involved in a brutal civil war. You've got Iraq in Iran's back pocket with Nouri al-Maliki. The Sunnis realizing that and restarting the civil war. You've got, you've got uh, Saudi Arabia funding the Sunnis in Iraq. You've got Jordan, whose king has publicly said he wished he weren't the king. You've got Egypt in an untenable position, no longer the security that Israel needed on that flank. So Israel's in very, very dangerous situation right now. The president's got to be very circumspect about what he does in exacerbating that situation. Netanyahu is clueless as to this. I hope President Obama gave him a lecture in geostrategic realities.